Hello everyone, Dragothian here. Welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. Today we're going to be talking about the top three armies that get you the 30 million kill requirement in Season of Conquest KVK. I want to make sure you guys have this information. It doesn't matter what kind of player you are, whether you're a free-to-play or low-spending player, all the way up to whale status. Just depends on how you fight. But I wanted to give you the top three, in my opinion, armies that will give you that 30 million kill requirement without having to have seven marches fully decked out with gear and all that stuff. I wanted to give you solo marches that could do the trick without needing to have all the extra bells and whistles or max tech for that matter. Let's jump into it. So here we have the graphic I made to showcase these top three pairs for you. Some quick criteria to go over on the right side. I want to make sure that I qualify this correctly, and I do want your input, everyone. Make sure you throw a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think of these three pairs, and then also give me another one that you guys might think may be just as good that other people might want to know about. There's a couple that come to mind that I'll reference after I go over the top three myself. But definitely want to get your engagement on this video. Make sure that the community has the full story. Also, before we jump into it, this is a sponsored content creation channel for Rise of Kingdoms. So make sure that you hit the bell notification and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit the like button if you enjoy the video. Now, before we jump into the pairs, I want to go over the criteria with you very quickly. There's four key pieces that I want to make sure that we check box as we're describing these three marches. Number one, it provides maximum kills for minimum hospital. I don't it doesn't matter if you're getting 80 million or 80,000 kills or severely wounded on a target when you're taking 130,000. It doesn't help you that much. I mean, you'll get some kills, but you're going to be spending it like crazy. So these marches should get you a very, very positive trade ratio while alongside getting you a high number to go into your 30 million kill count. Number two, it provides versatility in multiple roles. So again, not only is this pairing good for this purpose of getting 30 million kills in KVK, but also it can do other things, whether it's a rally, whether it's a, uh, a garrison for that matter, or whether it's uh, good for murder balls or whether it's good for group fights or whatever the situation, Canyon, Arc, etc. It needs to have some versatility. I don't want you to spend, because these are all going to be legendary commanders. I don't want you to invest in these pairings just for the sole purpose of 30 million kills. They can be usable in multiple different ways. Number three, achievable with very easy to get equipment. Now, again, the better your equipment, the better your results will be. We definitely know that. But you can get away with proct epic equipment with these pairs and do just fine getting the kills that you need using these pairs for that purpose. Now, again, as you get into legendary equipment, as you get into proct legendary equipment, as you get into iconic equipment, that's when you start to getting really, really good trades instead of just really good trades. But the, these will do just fine with proct epic equipment, maybe a, a, a piece or two of legendary equipment sprinkled in there, uh, or less. I mean, you can definitely do it either way. And we'll talk about what the equipment should look like for each one of these pairs as well. And then finally, the fourth point that I want to make, achievable for players that don't spend a lot. Again, I don't want this to be a video where you got to spend $500 a month into the game. You got to spend $1,000 a month into the game. You got to spend $20 a month into the game. It really doesn't matter. It's really about time invested in the game with these three pairs. How old is your account and what you can start to build towards if you are a new player? Because again, to get the rewards in Season of Conquest KBK or really any KBK before that, you're going to want to get the 30 million kill count or as close uh, as possible to it. And that being said, you want to make sure that you get that as efficiently as possible if you're a low spending or a free to play player. And again, that will come with time. These are things you can focus on that will give you value long-term while also giving you value short-term with the 30 million kill requirement. All right, so our first pair is Attila Takeda. In my opinion, this is the best one possible, meeting all the criteria uh, on the right side while also simultaneously giving you a high value pair for multiple facets of the game, regardless of how much you're a spender or not, or regardless of how high level you are in your KVK when it comes to maximum gear, maximum rolls for rally and garrison and all that stuff. This has a huge value. Now, as far as the versatility of this pair, certainly you can use this for open field, but also for rally. Uh, city rallies in particular, anybody that's got decent equipment can rally with Attila Takeda and get very quality reports from those rallies. Obviously, the best is going to be the high spenders who have maximized gear, but still 
even as a low spender free to play player, especially with time, you can definitely get the same kind of results if you're spending time getting crystal tech inside your KVK and then certainly investing some uh, of your input into getting quality equipment for this pair. But even with uh, even with procced epic equipment, which this is this is one of the best ones to get for, you can get your Dark Lord's Blessing, you can get your Gladiator, you can get your Heart of the Saint, you can get your uh, Iced Sufferance. All of those procs will give you such great value. And then you can maybe put a few legendaries on like the helmet, like the boots, and get some really good value and keep your defense and your health high. And that will give you all kinds of great value. Two legendary pieces. You can do it without the two legendary pieces, but you're going to start either lowering your defense addition or you're going to start really increasing your attack, which you really don't need to do with this pair, but still doable with those if you just don't have the blueprints or if you don't have the ability to do it. Um, you can do it with a full epic set and then proc the crap out of all of it. You should be just fine getting the kills that you're looking for from this march and again really strong best of the best in my opinion even better than the next two that i'm about to go into but this one in my opinion is the best personally based off of the results that i've seen on my marches and the kvks that i've been in which have been anywhere between you know we're talking you know top tier massive imperium top five kvk and then we're also talking about bcd kingdom kvks that were, you know, have done the same kind of thing. So really strong pair, number one, Attila and Takeda. Number two, we have Alex Harold. Now this can be switched around. You can have Harold Alex, or you can have Alex Harold. I actually like Harold Alex with this pairing. I used it in 307 KBK and it worked flawlessly getting five, six, seven, 10 to one trades pretty regularly, even in just murder ball situations. But if you're using this as a solo March where you're just trying to get your kills, you can easily run in and out of engagements, getting instant procs off with both Alex and Harold, getting your kill count high, 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 and then pulling back and peeling back. And again, because of the uh, trees that both of these commanders have, both of them are very versatile on the open field. This is a great uh, pair for Arc, for Canyon. You can certainly use this for open field, one of the best open field marches in the game for open field and murder ball fights. Uh, so definitely versatile on this as well. I would say that they don't have the anti-swarm capability that Attila and Takeda have, but they still do have some because of Harold's axes that get thrown out whenever he gets swarmed. Uh, and again, there is some tankiness there because they are infantry and because they do have a little bit of counterattack damage bonus from Harold and all that good stuff. The stats are really good with Alex and Harold both pairing up together. It really works well. Now, from an equipment standpoint, the thing that you really want to focus on that's going to be legendary is going to be the helmet and the chest. Everything else can be procced epic when it comes to um, your pants, your boots, and your gloves. And you can even go procced blue with the gatekeeper shield on, the, on this pairing and be perfectly fine. The helmet and the chest, if you don't go legendary, will both be attack, just like we're talking about uh, the Cav March with Attila Takeda being helmet and boots infantry is the same way, but for helmet and chest. So you want to make sure that if you're going to put some uh, extra legendary input into Alex and Harold, put it into the chest and the helmet and you'll be in really good shape. And again, they don't need to be propped, but they give you the right stat set because you're going to be getting a lot better value there. Now, again, that's going to be hope cloak for the chest and then the set helmet for the helmet. And again, you can exchange the gloves for the set gloves and give you that two piece bonus, which would be nice or the boots, same principle. Uh, but again, you can get a very high value epic portion on the boots by using frost treads. Proct will give you very close to the same amount of value as does the set piece boots. But this is one of the best pairings in the game, in my opinion, top five for sure for every purpose of the game, but for 30 million kill rank requirement, that's my second best um, available for you guys out there. Now, number three, I, I had a little back and forth on this. So when I was talking to myself <laughs> about what do I want to put for number three, Pakal Harold's definitely in the conversation. And that's really what ended up winning out in my mind is Pakal Harold. Because again, if you get swarmed on Pakal Harold, the damage is definitely great. The output's great because of all the counterattack damage, because of all the tankiness that Pakal provides, all the shields that are going off inside of that i mean you've got the coin available if you needed to you've got so many things available to you for this to really work however it's not as good as attila takeda and really they they use the same functionality meaning you want you want people to swarm you 
with the number one Attila Takeda and the number three McCall Harold. You want people to swarm me because that's how you're going to get your extra your damage. That being said, McCall Harold does do the same functionality as Attila Takeda, but it's not quite as good because you're doing skill damage on your AOE versus the massive, massive normal and counterattack damage, specifically the counterattack damage on the swarm. It does well, just not quite as good as Attila Takeda. That's why he's number three in my opinion. I've done them both. I've used them both. Again, in 307, in the same KVK, in the same fighting situations, and my, my trades and my amount of kills always was favored on Attila Takeda versus Pakal Harold. Now, some people will swear up, down, and sideways that Pakal Harold is the best. You got to go for him. And that's really what ended up making me put this at number three because to me, there's actually two other pairs that might actually perform a little bit better depending on your play style which I'll go over in a little bit. But as far as the gear goes for Pakal Harold, same thing we just discussed on Alex Harold. Go legendary on the helm and chest. Again, legendary set piece helm and legendary hope cloak on the chest. And again, everything else can be epic. You have Kerouac's humility on the pants. You've got frost treads on the boots. You've got uh, Seth's brutality on the gloves. And again, you can even go blue proc on the gatekeeper shield for the weapon. Uh, and be just fine there. And again, you can upgrade from there as you go. Both number two and number three will use that set and it will be very, very strong. That's my top three. That's my check mark. Let's talk about the next two that I think could be really, really strong and could have really overtaken Pakal Harold, in my opinion, for the number three spot. Number one just came out Guan Scipio. Guan Scipio meets all the criteria, in my opinion, for the 30 kill rank criteria that we talked about earlier. It's very versatile, great for open field, great for canyon, great for arc, great for murder ball, great for altar fight. I mean, just great all around. And again, you can be strategic with how you use them because with Guan, especially if you have him maxed, he can move in and out of battle very quickly with that three second, 100% march speed. And again, with Scipio, he has his own march speed, the debuffing that he's doing. You need to make sure that you're getting high value. And that's where they started to trail off a little bit. The number one criteria is maximum kills for minimal hospital. Juan Scipio is a little squishier than these other three on the, on the screen you see in front of you. So Juan Scipio, while they meet all the other criteria and maybe even are better in other areas like the versatility piece, I think you're going to get a higher hospital with Juan Scipio. One, because you're going to get ultra targeted. Uh, and two, because again, you aren't very tanky. You don't have a whole lot of damage reduction uh, when it comes to what you're taking. And, and when that happens, you're going to get a good amount of kills from them, but you might not necessarily get a good trade from them. So to me, that's an honorable mention pairing that I think will work really well. Also, the other one I really want to stress, and this one maybe even a little bit more than Guan Scipio, is Attila Nevsky. Attila Nevsky, and you can flip them Nevsky Attila if you want to, but I prefer Attila Nevsky in this situation. Great for multiple purposes. Certainly Attila Nevsky is one of the best anti-rally open field in the game. So if you don't own the open field, Attila Nevsky is what you send because if somebody swarms that thing, they're going to get take so much dead. It's incredible. Uh, again, a meta rally right now, for the most part, when it comes to people sending a secondary rally, or again, a rally that needs to be tanky, that doesn't get swarmed down, but still does a ton of damage against the meta garrisons. Uh, and again, for open field, it gets kind of the best of both worlds. It has the tankiness and the counter of Attila, and it has the mass damage top tier next gen um, skill damage that Nevsky provides. And there is a lot of March speed there as well with Nevsky being one of the best calf commanders for March speed in the game as a secondary. So again, there's a lot of value there. And I think that that's a great honorable mention as well. I have a lot of people asking me, is Attila Nevsky good? Absolutely. And for this purpose is one of the best ones in my opinion, but had to put Pakal Harold as number three, just because it's a tried and true. But I think really uh, Attila Nevsky was going to be my third March to put up here. Attila Nevsky has way more value outside of the 30 million kill requirement. So does Guan Scipio. Tons of open field and murder ball uh, capabilities. And then across the board from a rally standpoint, Attila Nevsky is a meta rally at this point. Not a main meta, but certainly a secondary meta or again, a meta for if you are rallying into an area that does not have field control for your side. That's a great march to send out and get some good value with the Nevsky, or the Nevsky damage and the Attila tankiness and counterattack. Really strong pairing there. Now, why are we doing this video, right? I mean, obviously, it's, I want you guys to have the information, right? But just as importantly, um, we're in the new Heroic Anthem Power Up KVK 
in Kingdom 75. Now, this is my account. It's actually the very first account I've ever made. And if you guys have followed the channel for a while, you know that I had a 30 mil power for 30 mil kill um, challenge where I took a 30 million basically farm account, used whatever resources I had on it to basically flip it into a fighting account and a massive KVK. And I think it performed pretty darn well, especially considering when I was in 75 for that purpose, they got locked into their starting zone after level four passes opened in a, a strife of the eight. So I wasn't able to fight as much as normal. I wasn't able to go to the altar fights. All that stuff was basically denied to me. And I still ended up getting over 18 million kills on that project. Right now we're in heroic Anthem power up, which means there is no locking. There will be altar fights for me to engage in. And I haven't really updated my marches since then. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, I still have just Minna maxed. Alex is maxed level 60. Now these two again are for the new power up heroic Anthem, which I do have videos coming out showcasing these two and what you can use them for. Uh, but again, everything else is basically epic. So Sun Tzu, Pelagius, Baybars, you know, that's it. I mean, that's really it. I've got a 5551 William, a 5551 Saladin, uh, and that's really it. I haven't really upgraded anything else, but I wanted to pair this knowledge and this uh, information with this video because I do have enough sculptures saved up since two KVKs ago to go ahead and max another commander. And since I have Alex maxed, okay, I'm going to go Alex Harold, And because I want to put this video to the test, the new project is basically, again, a free to play, you know, it's a, basically a farm account with some fighting commanders on it. I mean, look at my gear. It's very, very minimal. I've got windswept gear on. I've got a revival helm on my helmet. I mean, there's just bad gear all around here. Seth brutality. That's the piece I was telling you about. There's the gatekeeper shield. That's the piece I was telling you about. So, uh, Kerouac's humility. I haven't even procced it yet. I can't proc it. I don't have enough fragments. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Like this is going to be the ultimate test on this video. I'm going to be using Alex Harold to try and get 30 million kills in this KVK. And it's going to be a great opportunity because we are, in my opinion, and no offense to our, um, coalition of allies. We've got, um, a wind camp over here and water camp over here allied together against fire and earth fire and earth basically auto allied as soon as this map came out and fire and earth are classes above when it comes to just raw stats um this is pretty pretty crazy so you got 2354 1664 versus uh and 2234 and 2338 which is rr38 by the way all of these are heavy osiris league contending kingdoms by the way versus 2333 and 1002 which is less than what it used to be um, obviously when the folks from zero two went over to nine sixty, and then 2341 and, and kingdom 75, these are all good kingdoms. Don't get me wrong. Eyeball test. It's not as much as the top two. So there's going to be a lot of fighting in this KBK. And because it's a heroic anthem, I, we cannot be locked in, which means we're going to have altar fights. We're going to have fights in on um, zone four, as well as in zone seven, uh, here as well, or I guess zone five technically, but, uh, once level seven passes open, these will be a contendable and tons of fights will happen at the passes and all that good stuff. So, I mean, we're talking about some major fights going on here, and I'm going to use this setup to get my 30 million kills on this account. I'm not going to be spending a whole lot of money on tech, although I will spend a little bit just from a time-saving standpoint, but I'm not going to be like heavy pumping, you know, money into tech. Like right now, I don't even have level 25 on my crystal mine yet. Uh, and then same thing with my crystal research center. It's very low as well. And again, I just don't have the time to go and farm barbs nonstop like I would normally be in your situation if this was your account because I've got other KVKs to show you guys and other content to show you guys. So I'm going to make it kind of to where it's what you would have if you were maximum um, putting time into the game and all that good stuff. And I'm going to try and get my equipment as close as humanly possible to what I need. Like, as you can see right now, I've got the frost treads. That's good. I can go and move those over to my Alex. But again, I don't have any legendary pieces. And I don't have any legendary um, blueprints. The only blueprints I've got on this account are for Cav. Infantry defense would be great here, but I've already got a decent pair of epic gloves. The Eternal Knight would be great, but again, I've already got a decent pair of epic pants. I really need the helmet, which again, I've got pieces of, but nothing to uh, actually make it with. And again, I need a Hope Cloak, 
which again, I've got pieces of, but not enough to make it with. So we're going to have to kind of figure something out here. But that being said, that's the challenge that's coming up, guys. It's coming up very quickly, too, because, again, we've got uh, just a few days here. We've got a few days before level four passes open. It's uh, 48 days left. We've been here for roughly two or three days. Two or three days is about how long we've been here. So um, maybe in a week or so, we're going to be having level four passes open, and we're going to start fighting on this account. Again, this is the old 30 million account that got the 18 plus million kills. Now we're going to be using it to get 30 million kills again. Uh, and we're going to be utilizing my recommendation on this video, Alex Harold, to get it done with very minimum equipment, very minimum tech. And again, not having a whole lot of, you know, the normal whale type things or the normal, you know, whale type things or the normal high spender things. We're going to be the average player trying to get those kills so that you guys can do it yourselves if you see how I'm doing it and all that good stuff. So hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you are looking forward to the content to come. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Have a good one and take care.